Yes, just about a few days to Halvin. Which is my camera? This one, that one. Just about a few days to Halvin, right? A few days. What's today? Saturday. By next week, Saturday is going to be beat. Bitcoin Halvin, the fourth or the third Halvin. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me confirm that. One, two, three, four. It's going to be the fourth Halvin. And Bitcoin miners' reward will be cut in half. Hmm. Have you bought Bitcoin? Have you stored your inflationary Naira, dollar pounds, in the strongest, the hardest currency that cannot be debased? All right, let me call it just assets that cannot be debased. Have you? I'm asking you. Okay, okay, relax, relax, relax. My name is Oluwa Shegun, and we are back on DAS Digital Assets Show, the Internet Money Podcast. Um, I'm very happy. I have a special guest today. Um, yeah. And it's going to be a wonderful conversation. I wanted to come to the studio and just, you know, banter with my uh, viewers. The last time I really enjoyed it, uh, somebody called me from Castina. I, I mean, I, I really love it. So if you can see the number on the screen, you can still call me today. I'm willing to talk to you. I want to talk to you about Bitcoin halving, the importance, because next week we're having a halving event. For those of you that don't know, the date has been set back by two days. It's now 20th of April, Saturday. It was supposed to be a Monday, but we didn't want to do a stale event or we didn't want a situation whereby because it's going to be a Monday, people won't be able to attend. So we moved it back to Saturday. So it's on Saturday, 11 a.m. Prompt, you should be here. Pop House, Pop Central, Bitcoin Halving, the first one ever in Nigeria. Um, you're welcome to Dallas once more. Um, what's the price of Bitcoin today? Real quick. Bitcoin price is sixty seven thousand dollars two hundred and twenty two yeah dollars dollars sixty seven thousand two hundred twenty two crazy doing well I love it what's the market cap of Bitcoin the market cap of Bitcoin is one trillion three hundred and thirty two mil billion four hundred and ninety one million dollars and in the last 24 hours bitcoin has dipped about two percent yeah we know that in the last seven days maybe dipped about 1.30 percent just about an hour ago bitcoin fell like domino 0.59 percent anyway in fiat terms bitcoin itself don't fall when you buy bitcoin you buy some set of binary numbers that never move eight decimals it will never move one million one hundred million sats makes one bitcoin i always tell you 60 kobo makes one naira <laughs> 100 million sats makes one bitcoin if not be 100 million sats not be one bitcoin you know mm? pay attention uh yeah it's crazy and it's absolutely interesting that's the market cap of Bitcoin, a 14 years old digital asset, is now bigger times two and a half of Nigeria's entire market value. Madu, Bitcoin is bigger than Nigeria two and a half times in market value. If Bitcoin were to be a company as the apex crypto cryptocurrency, people would do business, business with Bitcoin faster than they would do with Nigeria. With, if they put all the pros and cons on both sides, Niger and Bitcoin, people would choose Bitcoin over Nigeria. Decentralized money cannot be censored, cannot be debased. There is a virtual asset service provider guideline. License will be issued pretty soon by SEC, Security Exchange Commission of Nigeria. Nigeria wants to take 10% of your money, my money, when you dispose of your cryptocurrency, Bitcoin on top of the food chain. Are you ready? Nigeria is about to be fully awake, chasing Binance. They won't collect twenty-six billion from Binance. You think they're not play? Wake up, wake up, collect your money. Aha! And on that note, let me welcome my guests, Mister Efosa Igudar. I mean, thank you. The name safe <laughs> carry weight. Thank and you. I love it. Sounds Spanish. I, you, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, it sounds rich. Yeah. Oh, oh that's you know, good. Yeah. Spanish. It, yeah. it, it, means, it means wealthy. God's wealth. God's wealth. wealth. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, so I don't even know, but, but that's good. Yeah. That's good. And, and I'm glad to have you here. Thank you. Founder, CEO, Hash Greed. Thank you. 
you're welcome to Digital Thank Access. Thank you, Shagun, for inviting me here. Yes, you're welcome. Um, for those people that don't know you, in just like 30 seconds, give us a background of who you are, what you were doing, and what you're doing now. All right, my name is Efosai Godaro, founder and CEO of Cross Blockchain, and um, known as the Cross Coin Project. And then that Cross Coin Project has Cross Blockchain, has HashGrid, has HashPay, has HashGrid domain. Uh, so these are the four, like the Votron that makes the Cross Coin Project, you know. So HashGrid is just one of it. So um, we started Cross Blockchain, Cross, cross Coin Project. It wasn't the blockchain yet, it was a token in 2017. And before then, I was in, uh, I, I mean, I was born and bred in, in Nigeria, Lagos, went to Unilag, did biochemistry, got it 20, 20, 2007. The next year, I was in the U.S., and then I, you know, started, I actually planned to come to U.S. to study finance, to just educate myself properly, because I discovered that we didn't know anything about money. You know, all of us graduates didn't have any special skills. We didn't even have any skill. No, so guess, what? Like, guess what? Mm -hmm. I tell people all the time. When they were teaching us home economics, lava and puba and all Thank those you. things, telling us to bring stove and you will fry egg and teach us to eat it, they were already educating Mark Zuckerberg, exactly. Elon Musk and the rest of them yeah. in, in code writing. Thank you. And so we got our, our education uh, strategy and system wrong from the, wrong. From the jump exactly. in Nigeria and yes. in Africa at large. Exactly. So I catch that joke. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So I say, you know what, I'm not doing no master's, no PhD. I want to get, I want to understand the world I'm in. And I want to, you know, create, you know, you know, bring out my own contribution to it. So I self-taught myself in finance. I entered into forex trading, you know, and that really helped me because after I started, I started the first forex community on Facebook on social media, Facebook, Skype, you know, oh, I was wow. the one that brought forex to the internet, you know. And then after that, I did um, got um, um, a commodity traders um, um, license in US, and then uh, just on the way to opening a CTA, the commodity, uh, commodity traders, um, uh, something fund, just like a fund, you know, that advisor, right? So uh, along that way, my friend told me about Bitcoin. This was 2015. I mean, actually saw Bitcoin in 2011 for the first time. I was trading. I was in the office. This is interesting. Me. Your Bitcoin story. Yeah, let exactly. Them know. Yeah, and then I was like, they're not going to let these people live. Like, who is, who is starting a new cryptocurrency? A new currency in America? And, and you know, so I just pushed... Uh, you know, it's like it's like a regret, but you know, no longer. Regret. We all have that story. Yeah, we all have one of those. So, cut long story short, we uh, 2017, uh, 2016, I bought Ripple, and then I said, okay, people buy Ripple. This, this is a no-brainer. This is going to because Ripple was partnering with banks in Asia. So I said, okay, these guys have partnerships. The coin is several zeros to numbers. Yet this is the floor. The floor cannot be more than this. Just buy it. So bought it. But I bought mine. It went 10x first. I used it to fix a car. My car, and then, I, and then I wasn't in the market anymore. So 2017, I was in Maryland doing an oracle database course, and then somebody I had um, known in Dallas called me and said, "Hey, Fosa, Ripple is now 40 cents." I said, "Which Ripple? Ripple XRP?" He said, "Yes, from 0 0.0066 to 40 cents." Mm. I'm like, "He said, Fosa, how can we get in?" So I said, "Okay, how much do you have?" He said, "Okay, I have $10,000." dollars "Okay, I have 25% of profits." He said, "Okay, let's play." So three weeks from that day, we had tripled our money to $30,000. So I took my 25%, bought all the pre-sale I could find. They all doubled. So I had $25,000. You know what, let's start. I'm not going to be buying people's coins. This is a new internet looking at me right now. So yeah, I'm not going to be buying people's coins. I'm going to create my own you know, structure, my own structure. So I created you know, CrossCoin on the Waves blockchain. You know, it was very funny. Like Imagine just creating your own currency, typing zeros, one, Tens, one, one, one billion, you know, so, and they, but it was stable. I was just, you know, seeing where that would lead to, you know, but, but I had a, pro, a, pro, a product from the Forex side that I already, that I was developing. So I said, okay, I'll just bring a product into this thing, put my KSS coin inside the product, try to just make it work, you know, and then that's how we started. So, and then 2018, the thing crashed and we just kept, kept in course, you know, we just saw that this is the future all the benefits of decentralized payments, you know, all the, the community, the governance, everything is just different from the Web2 world, you know. So we decided to just stick, stick in there. And then, you know, came to Nigeria 2019, after 11 years, I said, okay, let me try to push my product. And then, just $1 to 360 Naira. So 
cut long story short, um, that product didn't work out because the, the yield wasn't beating Nigeria's inflation. I said, okay, let's build core blockchain thing. Let's just build core on-chain everything. No web to app trying to bring a token inside. Just build, so let's build something that could make people sign documents, store files on the blockchain. And that's why that was hash grid. Exactly. All right, hold your thoughts. Yeah. Hold your thoughts. Thank you very much for that. For those people that know me, you know um, I am a 100% Bitcoin max and I do not shit coin. <laughs> yes. But I've always said it that if you're doing something that is intelligent, something that is special, and because I am Nigerian and we're trying to build a community, I will give you a platform for expression. And I love this story. I love how you touched upon different experiences before you now said, you know what, uh, we're going to stop doing this tokens and coins thing and try to do real, real yeah. world stuff. And, and that's where I'm going to come next. Yeah. My concern is why not Bitcoin? Because people will naturally ask why Bitcoin, you know, but I'll, I'll just say why not Bitcoin, you know, because I think that those the stuff that didn't work out didn't work out because it wasn't Bitcoin hmm. and, 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 and maybe because it wasn't backed by real world assets exactly. or by something substantial. Hmm. That's the problem I have with multiple coin creation. Hmm. So, um, but I'll let, I'll let it slide oh, because okay. I'm a man <laughs> and, and, and I'm glad about Ashgrid. Yeah. When I read your posts on Ashgrid, Tokenization is what I've always campaigned for mm. because, I mean, even though I, I'm like tokenize it on Bitcoin, yeah. anything you want to do, right? Mm. I'm looking at the Fort Milan Bridge that is going to be built and we can just tokenize that. Exactly. Yeah, we can tokenize Gary and, you know, tomatoes. Yes. <laughs> Large and, farms. You know, all and, kind and, of stuff. and you can back it up by Bitcoin. That's a mm. tap with technology that can help you do smart contracts, et cetera, mm. you know, and I think Blockstream, um, yes, you can do something like that. Mm. I think Block, Blockstream, it's a Bitcoin infrastructure company mm. uh, co-founded by Adam Back. Adam Back is one of the people that um, 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 Satoshi Nakamoto, the innovator of Bitcoin yeah. referenced in, his, in the yes, white paper. The right people, yeah. Yes. Um, uh, I think it was Ash Cash that Adam Back worked on, mm. a revised one. You know, those are the historical journey of the blockchain mm. before Satoshi Nakamoto now, you know, made it a reality yeah. with Bitcoin. Um, I want to ask you, how did you get to that point to say, we are going to be tokenizing real world assets? Because that's what sparked my curiosity. Yeah. And, and, and I realized that Nigerians can be empowered and enriched uh, to participate in real estate yes. um, uh, uh, investments, even yes. at the smallest level, exactly. and and in other, in 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 other whatever it yeah. is, even talent. Thank you right? very much. Um, but while you're answering this question, I would like you to be thinking about my next question, which is going to be about Bitcoin. Mm. Right. But I want you to answer this question. What's in for Nigerians? And um, how did that idea come up? And, and, and what's next? Mm. Thank you very much for that wonderful question. And um, so, like I said, HashGrid was just to store documents, certify documents on the chain. And then, just go start, I got the idea for HashGrid January 4, 2021. Mm. And then by January 15, development has started already. And... I said, you know what, I'm getting NFT, NFT, NFT everywhere. Just add NFT auction to, to what we are doing, you know. So they added it to it. I said, okay, That's add, your development that, team. Yeah, exactly. So they added it on everything. We, I didn't know what NFT was. Half it was already done at the end of the month, January 30th, and live. I said, okay, I just paid an, paid an artist. And, and, and the, and the non-fungible tokens non -fungible, craze. Exactly, it was up. out there, yes, you know. Mm. Immediately after uh, the lockdown, actually. Yes, it was yes. past 2020, yes. 2021. Exactly. We picked. Yes. 21 actually. It 21. Yes, yeah, it was crazy. So, I, you know, I got that. I got an artist, draw this pastor, draw this other person. Otto Dollar was one of, one of them. <laughs> so just let's, let's tokenize, let's 
Oh, wow. do an NFT for in Nigeria. I'm telling that you, happened? yeah, yeah, yeah. Do so people I, buy? I, yes, and then I put the ad on Insta blog, and I tagged, you know, I said, until this is his first NFT. It's ten thousand dollars for this NFT, but it's going to be donated to his charity of choice. Just playing with the stuff, you know. And somebody bought it. What? Somebody bought Nobody it. Nobody bought it. <laughs> <laughs> Nigerians really cool. The whole thing on Insta blog, you know. But anyway, I was just like. So, I mean, some people say, oh, this is a good idea. Some people say, ah, somebody can just go under the bridge, pay 20,000 naira, they'll just drink. <laughs> so I said, okay, I'm getting that. Thing. So that was, so, but, but then, so I said, okay, all the team, let's go store that by NFT. Let's take one, one or two days, read up, send your links, whatever you find, put it on the group. Let's read up. So when we, I said, you know what, we created something amazing. We need to know what is the future of this stuff. So I kept on, the content was very, very, you have to, I mean, then you have to really think very well for like months. To know what this thing can do, you know, and then I said, "Okay, we can, we can. Okay, real estate is, is one of it. You know, people say, it's, "Okay, the functionality of it, and people can come together on this stuff." So along the way, it all started building up. So later that year, I said, "Okay, let's us do real estate." But real estate didn't actually come to me by just thinking. I actually had a dream that we tokenize a million dollars real estate. So I woke up. I said, "Okay, I'm going to try to find a house that costs that amount." Talk talk to my neighbor and you know did all that. So just playing with just trying to make sure that it it connects to the ads real world and I see people's reaction. I say, okay, this can work and everything. So, so that was what we did throughout 2021. We did some art NFTs, of course. We did all that we did or just adding categories on hash grid. We had hash grid has 14 categories, but the, the upgrade is gonna have 27, you know. So we, at the end of the day, we put rice NFT there, beans NFT, food NFT. Oh, wow. We built a, an e-commerce marketplace on hash grid. Called hash deals. Hash is like a super dub. Okay, so you know? this is very interesting, but yeah. but I have a problem still. Yeah. My problem is authenticity yes. verification. You know what is it backed by? Yeah. You know that's my problem. Yeah. You know because um, as a Bitcoin maxi, what comes to my head is busting scams, ensuring that people get protected. People's money yes. get protected. I don't want people to come on the show and then oh. We, we, we bought into the idea because mm. of the show. Millions of people are watching. Yeah, exactly. So what do you have that um, you're leaning back on? Are you SEC uh, regulated? Um, what's licensing? Are you licenses? Are you working with? I know VASP licenses has not been issued, yeah. you know, but tell me what type of relationship uh, you're already building to be able to play on this level, and, and 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 this is me assuming mm. um, that you're playing on that level, mm. you know. So, um, but my concern, my realest concern, is verification, authenticity. Mm -hmm. um, what's going to protect people's money? Because truly, once it takes up, it can become a multi-billion-dollar, you know, engagement. Exactly. You know, and and and. But Nigerians would definitely want to know. Yeah. Happens. Okay. So let's just go straight into the asset side. Because actually on hash grid, we're the first NFT marketplace in the world to have authenticity. They had FireHash and that IPFS on hash grid before OpenSea did that six months after that. Mm. So the NFT is on OpenSea oh, before, before OpenSea. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So before OpenSea did IPFS and even hash of the artwork, mm -hmm. they're just a JPEG, they're just fronting as NFT. Mm -hmm. On HashGrid, it was already certified on the blockchain. Mm -hmm. The hash of that, if you if, if you uploaded a picture on, on HashGrid, that picture had the hash. If somebody else uploaded, you know, put in the same picture, it will reject it. Mm -hmm. You know, so that wasn't on OpenSea. But when we go to the artist, uh, artist so right now, like I said, we, uh, you know, before the show started, um, so we, when they see brought out this rule in 2022, you know, they wanted 500 million uh, minimum for, for the working, working capital, capital and everything so we, we we faced it head on people were complaining on linkedin and you know this bad this stuff you know i said let's just go ahead and, and move forward so we did that got my co-founders god god bless them they brought assets together and we filed it with the sec because you can actually file yes. is either you have the 500 million yes. in cash, in cash. Or in assets yes now it's about a billion billion exactly yeah. so so we did that and then we registered so i said okay let's just register for ICO filing because you can do 20 times your, your working capital. So let's register this and then we can do 10 billion ICO. And then we're working on that. We did all that submission and then they said, okay, 2022, they said, okay, let's put, let's put you guys in a cohort for 12 months. We started applying for that. The thing officially started in May 2023. All the way to August, we got approved for the second stage of, of you know, of assessment. We had to demonstrate to Canadian to SEC. We had several Zoom meetings. 
Then November 14, my, one of my, my best day, 2023, I just got that beautiful email. You are approved for the SEC cohorts, you know. So we're, very, you know, we're, all, we're all very, very happy. So what, so what that means is that the SEC is regulating us mm. and we are allowed to tokenize um, real estate because we showed the SEC that we can do everything. We did everything. We did equity. We did music. We did movies. We did POS NFTs. We funded POS operators with liquidity. We did all kinds of NFTs. But if you say, you know what, this is just a lot. Just do real estate. And then if you guys show us how it's done, it did very well. We then can you approve can it for, for uh, other stuff. Other stuff, yeah. So, so that's what we're doing right now. So right now we're expecting to have an offering approved because we have an offering we want to bring to the market. But we have clients who have offerings as well. So uh, one of our clients, I don't know if I mentioned the name here, but we have, we have an offering. Oh, yeah, feel free. Oh, yeah. Okay. So um, they're a real estate company. They have... 2,000 square meters of land in Alaro City, and tokenizing it, and then they use that fund. Oh, that's, that's, that's yeah, millions yes, of dollars. Exactly, project. yeah. So it's going to be $600,000 tokenization for the first stage. First is just to distribute the land ownership. They use the funds to add another 3,000 square meters, making 5,000 square meters. Then second tokenization will be at 10 billionaire to do the, the, the whole, the, the um, dry entertainment you know um stuff they want to do there okay so so just like it's a recreational real estate you know okay so, okay yeah. you, you're gonna have hold your thoughts i have to we gotta go make some money i have to go okay. on a break my Great. producer okay. can tell me that but I, i'm just yeah. so into uh what you're saying okay. uh, my curiosity is making me enjoy the conversation <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys are enjoying the conversation too all right das will be right back Yo, welcome back to Das, my people. Now, wah. Huh? I said this is the only show that brings you that one-stop education when it comes to cryptocurrency fundamentals, Bitcoin on top of the food chain. And we're going to be having a Bitcoin halving event on Saturday at Pop House on the 20th. No more on the 22nd. On the 20th. What is Bitcoin halving? You may have been hearing halving, 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 halving everywhere. What is Bitcoin halving? Bitcoin halving is that process that cuts Bitcoin miners' reward in half. There is a block subsidy of 6.25 that Bitcoin miners get every 10 minutes, right? But today, as we speak, in the next seven days, that block subsidy reward that goes to Bitcoin miners, 6.25, will be cut in half and will now be 3.125. Historically, it has been like that. In November 2012, about November 28th to be precise, it was 212, 210 blocks after every 210 blocks that's pretty much after four years is when Bitcoin halving happens. And it was cut to 25. The first ever Bitcoin halving was 50 to 25. That's because the block reward for the first halving was 50 BTC. Imagine you were mining Bitcoin at that time. 50 BTC every mm. 10 minutes, Damn. right? Come into circulation. Uh, and then after four years, November 28, 2012, it got cut in half to 25 BTC. And then on the 9th of July, 2016, after four years, that's after 210,000 blocks, a block comes up every 10 minutes. Um, it got cut from 25 BTC to 12.5 Bitcoin. That's 50%. All right. And then another 50% after that in 2020, you heard Bitcoin price go up. Boom. And that's how we got to 6.25. It's going to be cut in half again by the 20th of April. This is a significant event because Bitcoin will now be more scarce and the price will go up. Let's bet it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, this is not financial advice, but it's advice of life. Buy Bitcoin. Do something for yourself. Naira is inflationary. Over 30% of inflation is on the Naira right now as we speak. So when you say Naira in the bank, it's practically not going to be breathing. It will be losing energy. It's like something is draining the 
your drum of water you're fetching water into a drum but it's leaking somewhere so the drum may it will never get full it's not leaking fast where you would discover it's leaking tiny tiny and it's wet in the ground right this food inflation this transportation inflation there's inflation on everything so if you if you have 10 million naira in the bank just about four years ago check what that 10 million naira is now what's the value it has lost so much value and naira is backed by the dollar right dollar is losing crazy amount of value too bitcoin don't even mess up dollar one bitcoin is when we started the show it was sixty seven thousand yeah. dollars what is it right now Okay, if a little drop, it's sixty six thousand nine hundred, about sixty seven thousand dollars still. That same Bitcoin was less than eighteen era some time ago, when it wasn't even up to one dollar. So about four years ago, Bitcoin was just about how much? Maybe like five thousand, three thousand. It depends on the month of the year. Nine thousand, as low as even twenty thousand. Um, two years ago, it was sixteen thousand dollars. Today, $67,000. What are you storing your money in? What are you storing your energy in? You work so hard. Transportation, you know, all the, the, the knowledge that you put down, at the end of the day, you get paid. You know, that money get debased if you put it in a bank. It, it won't grow, you know? And you can't really use that money for something good. You have to want to convert it to US dollars so you can buy one or two things. You know, it's like somebody sucking your blood. So when mm. I come here every week and you haven't taken action, it hurts me. When we started the show, Bitcoin was about $30,000. So if you had bought even if it's just 100000 naira worth of BTC, by now you would have gone very far. Keep that money that you don't want to lose. That money that you don't want to be seized or censored. That money that you would like to use for something great in the long term that money that you would like to use to protect your future your wealth keep it in bitcoin if you have money that you want to use to buy jeans cars and things that depreciate but they are material stuff of life you can keep it in something else use your head though it's still <laughs> das my brother yeah a forcer yeah. you're looking good thank I mean, you man. the business is booming yeah. so now since you've been best. back to Nigeria, we were yeah. talking about you know your experience you know abroad and came back since yep. you've been back to Nigeria and you got engaged with SEC yep. and now you are in the cohort, right? Uh, even though I don't know where that cohort is, I'm worried. <laughs> but, yeah. you know, I hope that Nigeria will not um, kind of um, uh, make a mistake of just bringing a few people together mm. and not opening up the market yep. to people who can really, really participate. Mm. Uh, if not, what do we do? is drive the market back into a black market. Mm. You approve a few people. This is a decentralized ecosystem mm. business. Uh, you, you, you might get into trouble mm. if you don't give a chance to the P2P OTC guys and the other smart developer fingers yeah. in, 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 in different corners. Yeah. You know, and, and, and they're just going to be sucking up your, 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 your economy exactly. you know, and you may not be able to tax them because you can't, yeah, find, you can't them. find them like the mm. problem will now be worse than what you have with the bdc's mm. and you have these other guys that are not registered on mm. the streets right that's what you're trying to curb mm. um you know all of these things i mm. believe and ash greed again that's my concern mm. tokenization of real world assets mm. it seems like you're about to be the first to leapfrog that in the Nigerian market. Mm. Do you realize how major this can be? Is there a timeline? And um, what's the, uh, how do people participate? Mm. Where do they participate? Or, or it's still in the work? Is it ready or it's just still in the work? Then I will ask you about your funders. If you can put all of this together, who are your funders? Who are the people backing the, what you're doing up? Mm. And, are you going to be paying the 150 million and, 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 and getting yourself prepared to show that you have 1 billion paid up capital or working capital? Yeah. Thank you very much for this question. So tokenization is very, very important. Um, like you said, we're, we're the first uh, asset tokenization NFT marketplace in Africa. So we're already ready. We did a lot of development, 2021, 2022. 
you know, we had to innovate, bring out new ways to make sure the NFTs go faster. And there are still more platforms we're going to bring to ensure that the NFTs can be disseminated. People can just do it yourself, mint your NFT right from, in an, you know, right from the smart contract. And we even created a hash Naira, which is a stable coin Naira. So let's see knows all this. Let's see, we do the hash pay. People can view the NFTs on hash pay, transfer the NFTs, all kind of stuff. So we've been building, right? Now, this is going to be very good for Nigerians. Because like you were saying, we have a fiat currency that is, and I love analogy, is leaking pretty much. But people have people have been growing despite this leakage. Who are the, who are the people that have been growing? The producers. Yes. Or the dollar the other day, I mean, I just like mentioning his name. The guy's just, you know, no smart things. Now, he bought Gary Go Power Station from the yeah. government in 20, 2013 yes. for 158 or 138 million dollars. Then it was... 150 for just about Less 20 20 billion naira yeah. in total right now that was 2013 now it's worth 2.5 trillion they made a gross of 80 something billion naira profit revenue net profit was about 16 billion naira last last year but their market cap is 2.5 trillion right. and recognized and that brought him back to billionaire status so about 1900 percent growth from an asset that generates power. Naira fell 1,000% from, from that time. But this asset grew 1,900%. Crazy. About 90, yeah. So several multiple, is it 1,900 or 19? Very, very large growth, right? So that shows that if all the Nigerian people put their fiat money, invest in assets, you know, until, until now, you have to have big money to start anything. Yeah. But through tokenization, we, 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 we uh, we bring those big assets, those pricey assets, break it down into units, into small, small chunks, so that you can own it with the hundred naira, one thousand naira. You can own a piece of it. Ten people can own one thousand naira each. The student body in Nigeria can own one NFT each, and then together we can own power station generating power. Just whatever they are doing, whatever Dangote is doing, two million Nigerians can do it. When you pull funds, when you together. pull funds together, so, 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 so the, 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 that, that's where the problem is. People yeah. are concerned because these are um, things that happen in DeFi, yeah. right? Yield farming, um, liquidity pooling, liquidity providers, mm. um, asset providers, mm. and then um, people who invest in that assets. Mm. What verification system? do you have in place to ensure that people's money would be utilized for what it's supposed to be? And how would people's yield be paid out? That's the concern of Nigerians. If you yeah. notice, most of my question is around how people be will, will, will be protected yeah. and benefit. And, and I'm not trying to do the work of SEC and yeah. police, you know, that's not what I'm trying to do. Um, my own is to give, give a platform for expression for people who are doing wonderfully well. If you see, yeah. this is not paid. Yeah. Right? I didn't charge exactly. you for ad. Yeah. You probably you want to do this on CNN, on Arise TV. They'll cut your neck, my brother. Exactly. Yeah. So, so this is, with sincerity of purpose, how would Nigerians benefit from Ashley? By I know that, okay, I can use my 10,000 naira to tokenize, for example, say, the entire Lekki phase one, yeah. right? We want to tokenize the bridge, the Ikoyi yeah. bridge, mm. right? Uh, and people want to be a part of it. Nigerians mm. in Kaduna, in mm. Abuja, right? Um, can you paint a, a, a quick seconds process of investing and taking profit? Mm. That's one. Don't forget, verification process. Mm. Um, how do you, how would people verify that these assets actually exist mm. and, and, um, and their money won't be used for the other things that are not right. Thank you. So that's why we have the SEC. Um, the blockchain also helps to ensure that these assets are, the verification is on the chain forever, right? So when, so this is how the process works. There's an asset on the ground already, right? The developer has an asset, he wants to sell it. But this is from the supply side, they want to bring liquidity to the asset and sell it off. From the demand side, we want to own this asset because it will go up in value, mm -hmm. right? Now, when you come in, you register on the platform, you do, you do your KYC and everything, right? You can build your Naira. Your Naira goes straight to our asset management partner, mm -hmm. partner firm called Feature View Group. Yeah. 
Okay. So okay, money, you have an, you have you an have asset management yes, partner. partner. Yes, partner, right. yes. And this, he knows about this as well. So the money goes straight to Future View Group. They hold the money. When the target amount is raised, right, then, before then, would have gone to the issuer, that's the, the person who, who, who owns the asset, who wants to sell it, who wants to, you know, do, and then we verify the ownership of the asset, we verify everything, right, get that verified, because that's just the riskiest part of the whole thing. Once that is verified, everything done, ICC will also check it, also, everything is right, then the contribution starts. So the money goes to the future view group, they hold the money, and then after the polling has gone, now you have to have the access through the harsh naira. So you send, you use, now we have a partner bank, Tango CBM Brother Road, just straight away after the cohorts, you can partner with the bank. So you send your naira to the partner bank, then we verify that on the app, we send you a harsh naira. Because you can only use tokens to access the smart contract. So with that harsh so, naira, you so, so when you, when you, when you, when, when somebody bring money in, yeah. you convert that money to a token. Yes, yeah, to right. a token naira, yeah. To, to the, uh, stable what's the, coin. So what's the, Okay, to okay, so the stable, stable coin. coin what, and what's the stable coin backed by? So the stable coin now is, is just a means of, it's just a transit thing. Right now, it's not, for, it's not used for payments on the broader scale. We'll do that with CPN later on. Now, it's just to get you to access the investment that you want to do. So when you buy, um, when you send your Naira, so let's say you send 10,000 Naira to CBN, to, to the bank, right? Now, and we see that, we send you 10,000 hash. Because one hash equals one Naira. So the Naira is with the bank. The hash is with you. Then you use that hash to access, to get your NFTs, your tokens. Because we've already broken down the assets into tokens. And then, when, so the Naira moves from there, from that bank to the asset management company, when all the money has gone, has come up, right, then of course we have to destroy the hash Naira and then send the actual Naira to the, to the developer, the person who wants to dispose of the asset. So, and then you have your tokens and the money goes to the developer. Or the owner of the asset. So now that asset is on is registered on the blockchain, verified, all the documents necessary that shows that asset exists will be on the blockchain as well. And you have your tokens. Let's say we divide the asset into one million tokens and you bought five. Let's say one token equals one thousand naira. It's a billion naira asset. You bought five tokens, you had five thousand naira. You have five tokens. Those five tokens will be on your HP wallet. And that will be on other wallets that are built on, the, on, the, on our blockchain. You can check the Explorer, see your tokens there, but on the HP wallet. And then that is a proof of ownership. That gives you access to voting. We are discussing about the assets. When, now, when, when the asset is, is generating revenue, right, your address is ready to start on the smart contract. Okay, the address, so I was going to ask you, hold yeah. your thoughts. I was going to ask you about what's going to be happening to the, the asset. assets. Yes. Uh, so that uh, there won't be a proliferation of tokenized assets yeah. without... Any value yield. Yes. Right. So I understand that part. People don't understand that part at mm. home. Um, so um, I like that part. Uh, um, so what mainly is on ground now and um, when is Ashgrid going to open up for Nigerians to participate? Uh, you mentioned you already have a deal with uh, yeah. a real estate, real estate uh, yeah, firm, company, yeah. right? You have, you have a relationship with an asset yeah. uh, management company and yes. definitely a financial institution. Yeah. So it looks like you're ready. Yeah, we're uh, ready. I, I, I'm curious about when are you going to get set? Uh, your funders, um, are, are you ready? You need a okay. billion, <laughs> you need a billionaire working capital. Are you ready? Because you, you need to be able to show that you have the capacity for people to actually trust you. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you have the floor to ensure Africa is over yes. 17 yes. countries can listen to you. Yeah. So before the before this new rule, the cohort has started already. So and, and during the and, and then it was five hundred million naira, which we satisfied, right? So that condition remains for us in the court up till when the court finishes and then we then register with the one billion and stuff. So we already have partners working oh, on that. Oh, so because you yeah. scale through that, the, yes. the 150 million it's, don't apply to you. No, no, no. Okay, so you're just yeah. going to uh, be able to show that you have a 1 billion uh, yeah. working capital. Yeah, after the cohort. After the cohort. Yes, because okay. that's when you register and actually get the license. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, oh. so you're still going to so, register with the 150 million anyway? We still have to pay that money. Okay, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, well, again, yeah. Again. So right now, when it comes like a sandbox period, it tests where, 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 where we just demonstrate it. Yeah. yeah. So we have offerings... We have an active offering right now with the SEC, 
there are several coming up to their desk. But one of course, this is from that rule, it takes them 30 to 35 days to get back to you on, to you on your white paper. So by April 25, we make it about 35 days. And this, this offering is straight cut, very just, um, just what they say, like just a very straight cut in the tokenization. But you see, the bit about, like you said, assets. The bit about this thing is that Africans, Nigerians have the opportunity to invest at the earlier stage. That's the power of this thing, right? We focus on early stage things because these things will go up in value year after year. Yeah. And when you own production assets, then you are insulated from inflation. From inflation, you see, you are, and that's wealth creation. You see, for example, if you are in a desert or in a farmland somewhere, and the next person, the next human being, was ten thousand miles away from you, what do you think you need more? Do you need cash, one million naira cash, or you need seeds of corn and tomatoes? You need seeds. You need to put those seeds on the land, create value with food, survive. And then when people start coming to you, you can give them the cash because they need to pay that cash to you to get the seed. If you're in the polar, the North Pole, and somewhere there with ice everywhere, no, no human being in sight, do you need cash or you need ice, you know, cold, hot tea? You need hot, so you need hot tea, not because you need to survive first. So Nigerians need to focus on Owning survival assets. Yeah, storing your money in something that don't really debase what can beat yes, inflation. Be I, I recommend yeah. Bitcoin. Yes. But I love what you're doing. I, yeah. I, I really, really love what you're doing at Full Sun. Because you. of time, uh, time has gone so fast. Uh, just in about one hour, we've said a lot of oh, stuff. Wow. I definitely would like to bring you back. Uh, I, I, I have a few um, things to say, but I would like to ask you to say your last words i'd like you to look into your camera oh, okay this one and uh, oh, no, that's your camera over there and oh, okay. and 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 talk to the government talk to the corporate bodies talk to individual nigerians about the bitcoin blockchain about the ecosystem that is building up of course with the mindset of tokenizing everything yeah. ask you what you're doing Say that thing that you would like to say if you, or you would rather say if you have the opportunity to address the nation and spark their curiosity mm. positively towards paying attention to this industry that is being birthed. Imagine this is going to be played at the Federal Executive Council <laughs> for the president to see and say, mm. okay, I need a young man to represent the youth, mm. you know, and to say something that would just convince me. Mm. You have about 60 seconds. All right. So, the Africans, blockchain technology has come for advantage to leapfrog the rest of the world. Every continent, every country, major country had their own advantage. The US, the West had slavery and everything used that colonization. China used big population, cheap labor, right? Africa has resources, but you, you can see that we need to fund ourselves to develop those resources. So blockchain technology allows many people to come together to fund themselves. If you have, if you if you hold the fist like, if you hold, if you put your fingers into a fist, it has impact, right? But if you cut your fingers into ten places and scatter it on the ground, there's no impact. So we need to fold our fist like this and give a punch to poverty. When you come together, when we come together and create our own rice meal, the rice the price of rice will come down. We create our own our own oil depots, create our own whatever want, whatever is giving us issues anywhere. We create it. We create new things. We need funding from our own chip, our own AI chip factory. We need petrochemicals. We need polymers. We need steel companies. We need a whole lot of things. And this is our opportunity. So instead of trying to jap out of the country, let's come together, fund these developments at the earliest stage because these things don't, don't exist. When you, when you do that over time, five, seven years, you would have converted these things We go to the stock market and be trading multiples of the revenue. That's how you create wealth. So wealth question is for everybody. Come together, join our platform, Hashgrid Domain. You know, um, just later on, you'll find out, find us on LinkedIn. You know, join our platform, join our Telegram group at Hashgrid NFT and join us. We're doing something wonderful. Your money is secured. SSC guarantees that your money is secured. The money is going to be, insurance is there on every asset. All the contractors building what we are going to own together are all licensed. So before any money is paid out that we've pulled together, the person has insurance, you know, bonded contractors, everything is tight, secured. 
we're going to make sure that you know how to secure your NFTs because it's mainly, it's mainly non-custodial. So we're going to remind you every minute on how to save your, your you know, store your tokens well. And, and that's enough advert time. <laughs> <laughs> that's Thank, you. Thank you, my brother. I really appreciate you for coming. Thank you. You will not come to my show without telling me what Bitcoin is to you. Yeah, Bitcoin, yes. So you have another 15 seconds when yeah. I close the show. Yeah. What is Bitcoin to you? Bitcoin is God's weapon of prosperity because that blockchain technology changed the world. So Bitcoin is this icon, is the icon of the new age, is the icon of our advantage. And hold Bitcoin, hold assets, both of them are going to go up. Wow. And that's my highlight. I should have asked this question from the beginning. <laughs> that was the fire highlight of the show. I want to thank you so much for coming to thank the you, show. Um, lots of wisdom. Um, we would like to bring you back. I'd like to see what Ash Grid will become. Yeah. I wish you all the best. This is greatness. And thank when you. you become a multi-billion dollar company, remember, Man. we put you on television here first. I'll, I'll, By the I'll, time I'll Al Jazeera and everybody start calling you, yeah. you remember us here as Pop Central. I will. I will. Right? Yes, Oluwa Shegun will always bring to you whatever it is that matters huh? when it comes to blockchain cryptocurrency in Nigeria. Bear me, you know, no say I know they do anything with no pass Bitcoin. Hmm? But of course, I want to see people who are doing fantastically well. These are the billionaires of tomorrow. Are you going to join the train or you will be left behind? Ask yourself a question. Do yourself a favor. Stay out of the basement of fiat and opt in to the assets that cannot be censored, that goes up forever. God's money. Bitcoin, freedom money. And on that note, I would like to say, Odabo. Oh, don't forget, Bitcoin halving, next week Saturday. Yep. <laughs>